have a esteemed speaker. She is not the last, but she is for today's uh, program. But everyone has seen Jenny while uh, speaking on TV. She's constantly one that is a subject matter expert when it comes to immigration and also when it comes to criminal law. She has been on many talk shows, TV shows. She's a wife and a proud mother of two young children with her husband, Harpreet. And she is passionate about gender equality and social issues in our community. Let's all welcome Jenny. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My topic for um, this evening is domestic violence, its effects on society, and also what resources that are available out there for victims of domestic violence. I'll start by defining domestic violence. Domestic violence is a pattern of behavior that's used to exert control over an intimate partner. It can be verbal, physical, psychological, and also economic. Traditionally, women were most commonly the victims of domestic violence. It, it can happen to men as well. It can happen to people of all races. It can happen to people of different economic backgrounds. It can happen to educated people. And it can, like I said, happen at all levels. So if you're a victim of domestic violence, there are resources out there about uh, how you can go out and seek help. There are organizations such as, you might have heard of in the South Asian communities, Nareka, Mayatri, um, there's a local organization, uh, Next Door Solutions, there are, uh, there's also South Asian Women's Alliance and things like that. So depending on the circumstance that a person is dealing with, the kind of abuse they're dealing with, um, you can reach out to these organizations and they can be sort of a starting point to seek help uh, for more um, of a physical abuse type of a situation. Uh, if you are a victim of domestic violence, you feel that you are in danger, you're assaulted, or you're about to be assaulted, if you're threatened, if um, you're threatened with your property being destroyed, if someone's threatening to harm your children, or uh, harm your property, you can also call the police, and under the penal code section also, there are different categories of domestic violence. They're differentiated between a simple offensive touching to um, corporal punishment on an intimate partner and then so forth. So there are levels of it where one can get charged with a crime, um, the court system can make them do um, anger management, domestic violence counseling, in some cases where children are witnesses to this kind of domestic violence, you might also have to do parenting classes and things of that sort. And it will also make a record for the perpetrator that they're going to have as a convicted um, batterer. So that's the criminal avenue. There are other things you can do that are short of criminal action I notice in my practice that most people aren't ready and willing to call the police right off the bat or sometimes even after years of abuse on an intimate partner. So um, there are restraining orders you can seek. You can seek domestic violence restraining orders to have the perpetrator stay away from you, um, have you have custody of your children and so forth. So these are the kind of things you can do to protect yourself. The last topic I want to talk about is, I, I won't just talk about women as victims of domestic violence, which is the most common and sort of a traditional notion. Um, I have a strong family law practice. I noticed that men and women are also sometimes falsely accused of domestic violence. And I think it's just as important to know how to defend against false charges of domestic violence. So those charges can be devastating. You can go to jail, you can be put on probation, and like I said, you can be labeled a lifetime batterer for a man or a woman. If someone seeks a false restraining order against you, meaning it's based on false accusations, 
your children can be taken away, you can be kept away from your property and so forth. So it's just as important to know your rights if you're falsely accused of domestic violence. And the reason I talk about that last is because I am now representing, and I've represented many women, I'm now representing actually a close friend uh, who is exactly in that circumstance where she was falsely accused of domestic violence because she in fact rose up against the control and abuse that the husband and the family were perpetrating. Um, she was uh, con uh, charged in a criminal court, her children are being kept away from her. So like I said, it can happen to men or women, but it's important for all of us to know our rights. And um, I'll leave you with that, so empower yourself to know your rights. Thank you. Thank you so much for your words of wisdom.